This is the Psalm Project. Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither. And whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahweh knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalms chapter 1. Psalms chapter 2 Why did the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, and be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest ye be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Psalms chapter 2 Psalms chapter 3 Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which save my soul. There is no help for him in God, Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I laid me down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousand people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Psalms chapter 3 Psalms chapter 4 Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. 
How long, O ye sons of men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself he who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still, say long. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put the gladness in my heart more than in the season that their grain and wine increase. I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalms chapter 4 Psalm chapter 5 Give ear to my words, O Lord, and consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight, for you hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood, for the Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful men. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship towards your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their own transgression for they have rebelled against you. But let all those who rejoice and put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let also those who love your name be joyful in you, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. Psalm chapter 5 Psalms chapter 6 O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul also is sore vexed, but thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, and deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake, for in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make on my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. My eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. 
the Lord has heard my supplication, and the Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Psalms chapter 6. Psalm chapter 7. O oh Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me, and deliver me, lest they tear me like a lion, rending me in pieces while there is none to deliver. O oh Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is iniquity in my hands, if I have repaid evil to him who is at peace with me, or have plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue me and overtake me, Yes, let him trample my life to the earth and lay my honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up because of the rage of my enemies. Rise up for me to the judgment that you have commanded. So the congregation of the people shall surround you. For their sakes, therefore, return on high. The Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. The righteous God tests the hearts and minds. My defense is of God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a just judge, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he does not turn back, he will sharpen his sword, he bends his bow and makes it ready. He also prepares for himself instruments of death. He makes his arrows into fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked brings forth inequity. Yes, he conceives trouble and brings forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it out, and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His trouble shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come up down on his own crown. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise in the name of the Lord most high. Psalm chapter 7. Psalm chapter 8 O Yahweh, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you're mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than Elohim, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, birds of the air and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the sea. O Yahweh, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. Psalm chapter 8.
Psalms chapter 9. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne, judging in righteousness. You have rebuked nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. O enemy, destructions are finished forever. And you have destroyed cities. Even their memory has perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness, and he shall administer judgment for the peoples in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those that hate me. You who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell all of your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they made, in the net which they hid, their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes and the wicked is snared in the works of his own hands, say law. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God, for the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let men prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight, and put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Psalm chapter 9. Psalms chapter 10. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is in none of his thoughts. His ways are always prospering, and your judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he sneers at them. He said in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and iniquity. He sits in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws them into his net. So he crouches, he lies low, that the helpless may fall by his strength. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face, he will never see. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hands. Why did the wicked renounce God? He said in his heart, You will not require an account. But you have seen, for you observe, trouble and grief, to repay it by your hand. The helpless commits himself to you, for you are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king for ever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. 
and you will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, that the men of earth may oppress no more. Psalms chapter 10. Psalms chapter 11 In the Lord I put my trust. How say you to my soul? Flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, and they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot as an upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Yahweh is in his holy temple, and Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Yahweh tries the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loves violence, his soul hates. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, and fire, and brimstone, a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Yahweh loves righteousness, and his countenance does behold the upright. Psalm chapter 11. Psalms chapter 12. Help, O Yahweh, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful fail among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips. And the tongue that speaks proud things who have said, With our tongue we will prevail, and our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. For the oppression of the poor, and for the sighing of the needy, Now will I arise, says Yahweh. I will set him in safety from him that puffs at him. The words of Yahweh are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, Yahweh, and you shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Psalms chapter 12 Chapter 13 How long, O Yahweh, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul?
having sorrow in my heart daily. How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Yahweh, my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to Yahweh. I will sing to Yahweh. Because he has dealt bountifully with me. Chapter 13. Psalms chapter 14 The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt, and they have done abominable works. There is none that does good. Yahweh looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek him. They are all gone aside, though. They are all together become filthy. There is none that does good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? and call not upon Yahweh? There were they in great fear, for Yahweh is in the generation of the righteous. You shame the counsel of the poor, because Yahweh is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion, when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalms chapter 14. Psalms chapter 15. Yahweh, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? And who shall dwell on thy holy hill? He that walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks truth in his heart.
He that backbites not with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honors him that fears Yahweh. He that swears to his own hurt and changes not. He that puts not out his money to Asri, nor takes reward against the innocent. He that does these things shall never be moved. Psalms chapter 15. Psalms chapter 16 Preserve me, O Yahweh, for in you I put my trust. Due to the continuous rise in COVID cases, lockdown is still in effect for many cities around the nation. O my soul, you have said to Yahweh, You are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. As for the saints who are in the earth, they are your excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied who hasten after another god, and their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor will I take up their names on my lips. O Yahweh, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. I have set Yahweh always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope, for you will not leave my soul in shale, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. Hey Joel, this is Mark from Tolatech. Just wanted to let you know that your interview went really well, and we're super impressed. And we think we've got a great offer. You will show me the path of life, and in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalms chapter 16. Psalms chapter 17 Hear a just cause, O Lord, and attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer, which is not from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from your presence, and let your eyes look on the things that are upright. 
You have tested my heart, and you have visited me in the night. You have tried me and found nothing. And I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress concerning the works of men. By the word of your lips, I have kept away from the path of the destroyer. Uphold my steps in your paths, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O Yahweh. Incline your ear to me, and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. O you who save those who trust in you. From those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress me, and from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed up their fat hearts, and with their mouths they speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps, and they have set their eyes crouching down to the earth. As a lion is eager to tear his prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront him and cast him down. Deliver my life from the wicked with your sword and with your hand from men, O Lord, for men of the world who have their portion in this life, and whose belly you fill with your hidden treasure. They are satisfied with children and leave the rest of their portion to their babies. But as for me, I will see your face in righteousness, and I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. Psalms chapter 17. Psalms chapter 18 I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, and the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon Yahweh, and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations and also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and a fire out of his mouth devoured, and coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. He rode upon a cherub, and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind, He made darkness his secret place, and his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, 
His thick clouds passed, and hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, and at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He advised us to get traffic in the southeast, also combatants, small group, heavily armed, AK-47, beyond watch, and with wooded area. He sent from above, he took me, and he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahweh was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, and he delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahweh rewarded me according to his righteousness, and according to the cleanliness of my hands has he recompensed me. For I have kept all the ways of Yahweh, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath Yahweh recompensed me according to my righteousness, and according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. Is that up, Bravo and Alpha Company are coming into the first and second. With the merciful, that will show thyself merciful, and with an upright man, thou will show thyself upright. With the pure, thou will show thyself pure, and with the froward, thou shalt show thyself froward. Alpha team, let's move out. We have to tell that two hostage takers, one hostage, armed heavily, beyond guard. For you will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. You will light my candle, and Yahweh my God will light my darkness. By thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect, and the way of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those who trust in him. For who is God save Yahweh, and who is a rock save our Yahweh? It is Yahweh that girds me with his strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. You have also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand held me up and thy gentleness has made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that were not able to rise, they are fallen under my feet. For you have girded me with strength in the battle, you have subdued unto me those that rose up against me. You have also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh, but he answered them not. Then I beat them as the dust before the wind, and I cast them out as dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, thou hast made me a head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear me, they shall obey me, and the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their closed places. Yahweh lives, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is Yahweh that avenges me and subdues the people under me. He delivers me from mine enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. And you have delivered me from a violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, among the heathen, and sing praises unto your name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and he shows mercy to his anointing, to David, and to his seed forevermore. You are listening to the song project.
Psalms chapter 18. Psalms chapter 19. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day into day utters speech, and night into night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard and their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven, and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul and the testimony of Yahweh is sure, making wise is simple. And the statutes of Yahweh are right, rejoicing the heart, and the commandment of Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. And the fear of Yahweh is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins, and let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. Psalms chapter 19 Psalm chapter 20 May Yahweh answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of Yahweh of Yaakov defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all of your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May Yahweh fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of Yahweh our God. They have bowed down and fallen. 
but we have risen and stand upright. Save Yahweh. May the king answer us when we call. Psalm chapter 20. This is the Psalm Project.